food, eh? Right, by Peter H. Ronalds. Raymond loves to draw. Anytime. Anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers for his brother Ian, named as for shelter. Ian burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just completed, he just hung up the drawing and threw it across the room. Ian forced to Haunted Raymond. The he kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months, many crumbled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down and died. Martha, what do you want? He said. I, I was watching you draw, he said. I'm not drawing, go away. Martha ran away, but before, but, but not before, he kept picking up a crumbled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond blinked at him. And up at the horn, Helen. He was about to yell, but he fell silent when his sister was crumbled scared as a crumbled goblin. This, this is one of my favorite parts. Martha turned to sit down. Please. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, she said. But it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vases. Well, it looks vases, she explained. Vases, Ian looked closer. He studied the drawings on Martha's wall and began and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt red and energized, thinking it would viciously allow his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, losing lines quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the whole the world around him, making an ish drawing so wonderful. He filled out his he filled out his channels. Trees, houses, boatish, afternoonish, fishes, summerish. Then Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too, peevish, sillyish, excitingish, excitedish. His ish art was inspired by ish writing. Ish writing. It wasn't sure he wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but there no there were poemish pond pond punter green wonder pond pond yawn yawn green wonder yawn. One spring morning, Raymond was thought a wonderful feeling, and his drawings he could not capture. He decided to not capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Raymond liked his history after all. Ever after. That and this.